Diabetes mellitus type 2 Diabetes mellitus type 2, also known as type 2 diabetes, is a long-term metabolic disorder that is characterized by high blood sugar, insulin resistance, and relative lack of insulin. Common symptoms include increased thirst, frequent urination, and unexplained weight loss. Symptoms may also include increased hunger, feeling tired, and sores that do not heal. Often symptoms come on slowly. Long-term complications from high blood sugar include heart disease, strokes, diabetic retinopathy which can result in blindness, kidney failure, and poor blood flow in the limbs which may lead to amputations. The sudden onset of hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state may occur, however, ketoacidosis is uncommon. Type 2 diabetes primarily occurs as a result of obesity and not enough exercise. Some people are more genetically at risk than others. Type 2 diabetes makes up about 90% of cases of diabetes, with the other 10% due primarily to diabetes mellitus type 1 and gestational diabetes. In diabetes mellitus type 1 there is an absolute lack of insulin due to breakdown of islet cells in the pancreas. Diagnosis of diabetes is by blood tests such as fasting plasma glucose, oral glucose tolerance test, or A1C. Type 2 diabetes is partly preventable by staying in normal weight, exercising regularly, and eating properly. Treatment involves exercise and dietary changes. If blood sugar levels are not adequately lowered, the medication metformin is typically recommended. Many people may eventually also require insulin injections. In those on insulin, routinely checking blood sugar levels is advised, however, this may not be needed in those taking pills. Bariatric surgery often improves diabetes in those who are obese. Rates of type 2 diabetes have increased markedly since 1960 in parallel with obesity. As of 2013 there were approximately 368 million people diagnosed with the disease compared to around 30 million in 1985. Typically it begins in middle or older age, although rates of type 2 diabetes are increasing in young people. Type 2 diabetes is associated with a 10-year shorter life expectancy. Diabetes was one of the first diseases described. The importance of insulin in the disease was determined in the 1920s. Signs and Symptoms of Type 2 Diabetes The classic symptoms of diabetes are polyuria, frequent urination, polydipsia, increased thirst, polyphagia, increased hunger, and weight loss. Other symptoms that are commonly present at diagnosis include a history of blurred vision, itchiness, peripheral neuropathy, recurrent vaginal infections, and fatigue. Many people, however, have no symptoms during the first few years and are diagnosed on routine testing. A small number of people with type 2 diabetes mellitus can develop a hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state, a condition of very high blood sugar associated with a decreased level of consciousness and low blood pressure. Complications Type 2 diabetes is typically a chronic disease associated with a 10-year shorter life expectancy. This is partly due to a number of complications with which it is associated, including, 2 to 4 times the risk of cardiovascular disease, including ischemic heart disease and stroke, a 20-fold increase in lower limb amputations, and increased rates of hospitalizations. In the developed world, and increasingly elsewhere, type 2 diabetes is the largest cause of non-traumatic blindness and kidney failure. It has also been associated with an increased risk of cognitive dysfunction and dementia through disease processes such as Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia. Other complications include acanthosis nigricans, sexual dysfunction, and frequent infections. Pathophysiology Type 2 diabetes is due to insufficient insulin production from beta cells in the setting of insulin resistance. Insulin resistance, which is the inability of cells to respond adequately to normal levels of insulin, occurs primarily within the muscles, liver, and fat tissue. In the liver, insulin normally suppresses glucose release. 
However, in the setting of insulin resistance, the liver inappropriately releases glucose into the blood. The proportion of insulin resistance versus beta cell dysfunction differs among individuals, with some having primarily insulin resistance and only a minor defect in insulin secretion and others with slight insulin resistance and primarily a lack of insulin secretion. Other potentially important mechanisms associated with type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance include, increased breakdown of lipids within fat cells, resistance to and lack of incretin, high glucagon levels in the blood, increased retention of salt and water by the kidneys, and inappropriate regulation of metabolism by the central nervous system. However, not all people with insulin resistance develop diabetes, since an impairment of insulin secretion by pancreatic beta cells is also required. Screening no major organization recommends universal screening for diabetes as there is no evidence that such a program improve outcomes. Screening is recommended by the United States Preventive Services Task Force USPST, in adults without symptoms whose blood pressure is greater than 135-80 mmHg. For those whose blood pressure is less, the evidence is insufficient to recommend for or against screening. There is no evidence that it changes the risk of death in this group of people. They also recommend screening among those who are overweight and between the ages of 40 and 70. The World Health Organization recommends testing those groups at high risk and in 2014 the USPSTF is considering a similar recommendation. High risk groups in the United States include, those over 45 years old, those with a first degree relative with diabetes, some ethnic groups, including Hispanics, African Americans, and Native Americans, a history of gestational diabetes, polycystic ovary syndrome, excess weight, and conditions associated with metabolic syndrome. The American Diabetes Association recommends screening those who have a BMI over 25, in people of Asian descent screening is recommending for a BMI over 23, 